let's get into it here. Uh, you fluent in Mayock. To me, if that they, they have greenlit him, all right? Yeah. Because we, we all know that Gruden has got that 10-year, $100 million contract. I'm sure he and Gruden had a conversation about, <laughs> about processes and things of that nature. But for him to say what he said yesterday – spoke volumes to me. I wonder what you what you thought when you saw that. Well, first of all, it follows kind of the formula for teams in that you want, if you're going to do the good cop, bad cop, for lack of a better uh, phrase, yes. you want the good cop to be downstairs with the player, the bad cop to be upstairs. And so that's the role Mike's going to have to play, which I think he has no problem <laughs> playing that role. He's very comfortable in that, in that, in that particular role. Yes. Um, and so I think that's the way it kind of had to go down. It was just a matter of whether or not they were going to press that button. And, you know, look, if he's back out there today, well, it's no, apparently it needed to be pressed. But there's no back out there. Apparently it's a walkthrough that got canceled. It's just everybody gets together before they officially break camp. Yeah. Right. But at least so, he's in the building. He's and, in the building. Yeah. But if he doesn't show, there's something called failure to practice. I mean, he would be opening himself up to if they do finally hit the button even harder. Yeah. And decide that we're, we're done here. Yeah. Because they can't figure – like what happens if week two – he 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 drops a ball, and he's he's got only 200 yards receiving in the first three games, no touchdowns. He's going to think it's the helmet, you know. Like this is not going to be over. Yeah. This is something that can linger deep into the most important part of the year. Well, to me, year. to me, and I go back to what Mike said. There's so many different things you could take out of what Mike said, and you could really dig into it. Um, but one thing that I heard, one word that I heard that I thought was interesting, mm -hmm. he didn't say this team. Meaning this team this year right now, he said, I'm, I would like where this franchise is headed, which to me was a bigger picture look at this thing. So while Antonio Brown might help us tomorrow and the next day, we're still going to do what's best for this franchise and where we're headed. Um, so that to me says that, hey, this thing needs to get needs to get done or they are going to look at some other options that they might possess. So what else did you take from the uh, Mayock presser? A couple, couple other things. Yes. Um, the uh, we've exhausted all avenues of relief is a great fantasy team name. Uh, if you can fit it in, That's, I don't know yeah. if you have characters. Exhausted all avenue or That's or, long. or you make the avatar as a, as a signed avenue relief avenue, right? Okay, there you go. Okay, nice. I like that. Exhausted but, avenues. Exhausted. But, but this is like a legitimate poll question because that was that was great. But to me, the favorite because I think I've heard Mike say this before. End of story. No questions. No questions. Yeah. But also the thing, too, it, what it sounded like a production meeting to me where yeah. we all sit there and listen to Mike okay. and hear what he has okay. to say was when he said there's 89 other guys yeah, out here busting butt. their butts. Yeah. yeah. He said he would say that stuff all the time yeah. when he was talking about a hard case in somebody's locker room and mm -hmm. how you got to think about everybody in that locker room. I mean, that was not a show that literally felt like a 2012 pre-draft <laughs> meeting. Or a combine meeting to yeah. me. That's what it sounded like to me. It, it sounded to me like we didn't show a drill of a kid while we were talking about another kid. That's and then he would go, hey, <laughs> that kid's busting his butt. Exactly. Give him his moment. Give him his know? moment, right. So, But again, to me, that goes back to whether you're focusing on you know, the, the team short term or the franchise long term. This team's not winning the Super Bowl this year. That's not breaking news. So the big picture, what's best for this franchise? And Mike knows it's having all these guys together going in the same direction and not dealing with this kind of stuff. But can we already say this is a terrible fit? Can we make this can we make this decision right now? Right here? Um, Maybe with all the dumpster fire memes that you see here, and that if they do press this button, which may be the best thing for the franchise, yeah. that they they went ahead and did this maneuver but they wouldn't pay Khalil Mack, but they might have to pay this guy an absurd amount of money, even though I'm sure they would uh, do some form of suspension to try and get out of yeah. whatever guarantees they have to pay him. You got to believe they're hoping that they can salvage this thing. I mean, if you look at it right now, it doesn't look obviously not great, Bob, uh, at this point in time. <laughs> and they're hoping right. that this thing can get corrected. I just keep coming back to, you know, a couple points. Number one, when you look at the production of Antonio Brown, as, as recent as last year, the level of play you saw on the field, and he was made available to all 31 other teams, and the price that it fetched was a third and a fifth round pick, it told you there was some concern about something like this potentially happening. And a team that coughed up, you know, Antonio Brown took a $21 million cap hit yeah. to get back the Just three to, and the five. Yeah. And you haven't heard a peep out of Pittsburgh. It seems like they're enjoying camp this year, so... Um, that was classic addition by subtraction in their view. Now he is a he is a great talent, and if they can get him in the right frame of mind, get him on the field, 
Um, there's no doubt he'll help this version of, of this Raider of him. But man, it just, it, it was like two different tracks. Free agency with Vontez Perfect. You just brought in Richie Incognito. Um, Antonio Brown comes over. Then you look at who they drafted, high character, work ethic, you know, kind of program building players. Right. It almost seems like you're on two different tracks there. So in order for this thing to, to go, it's got to figure out which track they want to be on. And I, I think it eventually will end up on that draft track. Um, but it was curious how those two things were kind of working against one another. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.